Anthony Sabeel, or wait, one year. Two and a half years from Billy Swift. Six years from Gordon Sumner. Six years from Jackson Nani, or Nani. But there was a guy on a few weeks ago who debuted on this show. He did his very first minute ever, wrote a minute, absolutely crushed and crushed throughout the interview. And I told him when he has another minute ready to come back to the show. So this is the second ever time on stage, the second ever minute from returning guests. This is the return of Carlos Lopez, everybody. Howdy. Well, my name is Carlos, and my pronouns are ye and haw. <laughs> and they try to cancel me for that. Well, she it. <laughs> I have a fascination with nature's leftovers. There's something about single moms that just gets my juices flowing. <laughs> I volunteered to fuck a sex robot for AI research purposes. <laughs> I'm proud to say that not only does artificial intelligence finally understand human emotions, but I'm the one that tied the feeling of disappointment. <laughs> Thank you. Beats. One after the other, Carlos Lopez, with a grand total of two minutes, has had two rock-solid minutes. How do you feel, Carlos? Fucking incredible, man. Thank you for having me. You have so much swagger to you, so much fucking cadence, such a powerful presence on stage. Uh, you uh, drive horses around in an actual truck, not one of these fucking furniture movers. <laughs> You're a real fucking cowboy out there lugging around horses. Tell us more. <laughs> no, I just live on the road, man. I've I'm been blessed to uh, see the whole country. And most people where I grew up, they don't ever leave town, much less see everything I get to see. And I'm just blessed, man. I've been a good life. There you go. God loves white people. <laughs> Carlos, you mentioned having a, uh, a love for single mothers. What is it about single mothers that you like so much? What is it? How, it can you always tell when they're single? Well, you... I know they put out. <laughs> That's actually a good, yeah. Yep, great answer. They're very loving and nurturing, and I could use that in my life, you know? Yeah, you're out there taking care of the horses. God damn it, time for someone to take care of you. Yeah, and if they're shitty moms, I don't have to worry about them sticking around. That's right. Absolutely. They'll leave you even after your best friend gets murdered on your wedding day. That's how it works. That is how it works, people. This is real life. True. I love it. Carlos, you ever been married? Hell no. Hell no. Just out here hauling horses, slanging dick, and dodging babies. <laughs> there he is. There it is. Oh, shit. We, we woke him up. God damn it. Dude, how did the cowboy community take Brokeback Mountain? Were you guys pissed or like... <laughs> like, does it happen up there if you're out there with your boy for like too long? You guys get cattle fever? Hell no. <laughs> I'll run in a cell barn if I have to before that. Hell no. <laughs> did you ever... You know, you ever see the movie? Oh, it's very poetic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfect answer. Hey, the best, the best line is after they fuck, he's like, well, I ain't gay. He's like, well, I ain't either. Like... Y'all just buff fucked in the mountains. <laughs> Lisa and Bray, you're already there. You're Lisa and Bray. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> I never saw it. I started it once and I got so hard that I passed out. <laughs> so all the blood, <laughs> all the blood left my brain, and I just, I was smitten. Uh, you know that movie just made me want to go eat a pussy. You know what I mean? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Carlos, uh, you're a real manly man. You're fucking filled with testosterone. It's absolutely incredible. What's the manliest thing you've ever done? 
you think? Just give it, take a second. Love a woman. No. <laughs> no. Uh-huh. No. What? Yeah. Well, fuck, I don't, I don't know. I guess just handling livestock right. by hand, you know. Yeah, that'll do it's it. It's a rank-ass fucking livestock. What's the most feminine thing you've ever done? Watch Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> that'll do it. He's so fucking quick, dude. He is. Lightning quick. We absolutely love you. You're so straight that D Madness has a fondness for you, too. <laughs> he can feel it in the air. Carlos, what's your living situation? Man, I live on the road, so I got a place I call home at the moment in Corpus Christi, Texas. And uh, okay. but I'm, I'm, never, I'm never anywhere for too long. Oh, God, you're so cool. Everything is like a... It's unbelievable. Never anywhere for too long. God, unbelievable. You talk to the horses sometimes? Fuck yeah, the best conversations ever had. Hell God damn, yeah. dude. God. They uh, operate off of yay or nay, and I, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Straightforward. Do you ever get horse lady pussy? Do you ever get horse lady pussy? Yeah. Oh, horse lady pussy. Okay, yeah. he's coming for a second. Not horse pussy. No. I mean, if you could handle horse pussy, hats off, cowboy. That's a lot. That's, it's a physical feat. No, horse, horse lady pussy. Horse yeah. lady pussy is some of the wildest pussy. Hell yeah. I bet, brother. Some of that old... You ain't, you ain't scaring them. You're just trying to hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe me. Fucking try it. I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> That's absolutely incredible. What's your favorite position to have sexual relations with a woman in? Anyone with a woman, I was fine with me. <laughs> there you make go. it quick and make it stick. I ain't too big. Wow. No doubt about it. You ever breed horses? Uh, not on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> this is what made us fall in love with you. He's got... Answers for everything, this fucking guy. It's absolutely... There may have been a stallion turned out where we weren't supposed to once or twice. It was not me. <laughs> wow. Now, uh... <laughs> wow, that is incredible. What else do you do for fun? What is a... I mean, I know you're out on the road a lot. You're never in one place too long. Rodeos. You wild love women. rodeos. Have you ever uh, done a rodeo? No, no, I'm not a rodeo cowboy. No. But not rodeos, yet. wild women, and one night taco stands. Wow. It's one a night song, taco actually. stands. Yeah. It's incredible. Every fucking thing he says. <laughs> he finally <he's> like, bombed. <laughs> <laughs> it's a song. Well, cowboy. No, you're the man. You are the fucking best. It is incredible. I'm just a nasty comic, dude. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that, but. It is. It was all so perfect. <laughs> It is incredible. Can you describe to us what a one-night taco stand is? The taco stand I'm at for one night. Whatever one I run into is my favorite one at the moment. Wow. And I'll find, I have a, it's like a magic power for me. I can find taco stands fucking everywhere. I found one in Traverse City, Michigan one time. I didn't know they had Mexicans up there. Yes, yeah, I use... <laughs> <laughs> I usually use Google. I can locate them pretty easily as well. Oh. Partner. <laughs> Partner, I just... Check into my phone, I find them everywhere I go as well. What kind of cell phone do you have? I want to know what a cowboy cell phone is. It's a, it's a notebook. <laughs> it's a broken one now. Yo, wow. You got the iPhone. You got broken an... iPhone, yeah. Oh, Hell yeah. Dang. It's punchy. Yep, that's what happens when how's you're out you, there. How'd you break, partner? I, I fucking can't ever keep anything intact when you're heard around that. livestock. Heard that. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yeah, I got two dogs myself. Always shitting on the rug. Pick it up with my bare hands and throw it out the window. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're in Austin tomorrow night? I can be. Okay. Uh, the great Brian Simpson has a show called uh, Bottom of the Barrel where people have to pull topics out of a bucket and improvise in the moment um, uh, jokes. And you're so quick. I want to see uh, how that goes for you. So the late show tomorrow night, bottom of the barrel here at the Mothership. Sorry. That's an official spot at the Comedy Mothership. Not the fucking secret show. 
This is the mothership. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. There he goes. Carlos Lopez, everybody, making his second ever appearance. Only has two minutes, but he's going to be improvising tomorrow on Bottom of the Barrel. Late show here at the mothership. Pulled another name out of the bucket. Whoa, Heidi. Make some noise for your next bucket pull. 60 seconds uninterrupted from Jason Vest, everybody. Jason Vest. 